Before the Ming Dynasty, China was ruled by the Yuan Dynasty, which was established by Kublai Khan, the grandson of Genghis Khan, in 1271 AD. The Yuan Dynasty was a dynasty ruled by the Mongols, and it was the only dynasty in China that was governed by non-Chinese. During the rule of the Yuan Dynasty, many Chinese people were dissatisfied with the Mongol rulers. The officials and governors sent by the Mongol rulers often oppressed the local people and treated them unfairly. Additionally, cultural and customary differences between the Mongols and the Chinese led to tensions and disharmony among them. In the early 14th century AD, peasant uprisings occurred in various regions of China. One of the largest uprisings was led by Zhu Yuanzhong. He came from a poor peasant family and initially became a Buddhist monk, training at a monastery. However, after the monastery where he resided was destroyed by the Yuan dynasty's forces, he joined the rebellion movement. The uprising led by Zhu Yuanzhong succeeded in garnering support from various segments of society, including peasants suffering under the rule of the Yuan dynasty, disgruntled workers, and dissatisfied nobles who resented the Mongol rule. Zhu Yuanzhong capitalized on this dissatisfaction to build a strong army and launch a rebellion against the Yuan dynasty. In 1352 AD, Zhu Yuanzhong became the leader of the rebellion and established a rebel regime known as the Red Turban Rebellion. Subsequently, in 1356 AD, Zhu changed the name of his regime to the Ming Dynasty, Ming meaning bright or clear. Following this, Zhu Yuanzhong launched a series of military campaigns against Yuan loyalist forces. He successfully captured strategic territories in southern China and consolidated his power. In 1367 AD, Ming forces under the leadership of Zhu Yuanzhong managed to capture the Yuan dynasty's capital, Dadu, now Beijing, from the weakened Mongol forces. In the following year, Zhu Yuanzhong declared himself Emperor Hongwu and established the Ming dynasty, replacing the Yuan dynasty as the ruling power in China. The new capital was established in Nanjing, in southern China. As Emperor Hongwu, Zhu Yuanzhong implemented various policies and reforms aimed at strengthening central government control, abolishing the power of aristocratic families, reducing the influence of the military, and improving the administrative and financial systems of the state. He also created an agrarian-based system to support peasants and established a network of spies to maintain internal and external stability. After the death of Emperor Hongwu in 1398 AD, his eldest son, Zhu Biao, predeceased him, and the throne was passed to his grandson, Zhu Yunwen, who later took the title Emperor Zhongwen. However, Emperor Zhongwen had disputes with his uncle, Zhu Di, the Prince of Yan, who considered Emperor Zhongwen incompetent. The disputes between Emperor Zhongwen and the Prince of Yan culminated in a civil war known as the Zhongwen's Rebellion, which lasted from 1399 to 1402 AD. In 1402 AD, the Prince of Yan emerged victorious and ascended the throne as Emperor Yongle. Emperor Yongle moved the capital to Beijing and expanded the empire through military expeditions and orders for naval expeditions. After Emperor Yongle, the Ming Dynasty experienced a period of greatness under rulers like Emperor Xuan and Emperor Chenghua. However, in the 16th century AD, the Ming Dynasty faced decline due to corruption, social unrest, economic problems, and outbreaks of diseases such as the Black Death. Public dissatisfaction and local uprisings further weakened the empire. In the 17th century AD, the imperial dynasty continued to weaken, and in 1644 AD, a peasant rebellion led by Li Zicheng successfully besieged the capital, Beijing. The Ming dynasty collapsed after Emperor Changzhen committed suicide, and the dynasty was overthrown by the Manchu people, who established the Qing dynasty as the successor to the Ming dynasty and ruled China for nearly three centuries.